Hi, I'm Stan Tate with Community Blood Center. Welcome to Liberty, Missouri and Liberty High School, home of the Blue Jays. Annually, Liberty High School has one of the largest, if not the largest, single day high school blood drives in the state. It brings out nearly 500 people. We're here to give you an idea on how these students prepare for the big day and help you understand why other schools and even large corporations look to Liberty High School for help when they want to plan and promote their own blood drives. Year after year, the students at Liberty High win top honors for their blood drives. They're simply amazing kids. So without further ado, let's get the show rolling and meet the students and future leaders from Liberty High School who really know how to put on a big time event. We started planning for the blood drive towards the end of December and we've been planning ever since. And then we usually host the blood drive in February of the next year. It does take two or three months, but just little pieces all have to be done. We selected this date because we knew that there wasn't any other events that would conflict with it during the school day. We checked with administrators and other staff members at our school to make sure that it would be okay. Our chairs are actually elected by my AP Biology students. Every year at the beginning of the year, they know about the tradition of our blood drive, so it's kind of entrenched in our, our culture here at the high school. And uh, they just elect two people they think would do a great job, a competent job, organizing and uh, developing subcommittees to help raise food, PR awareness, all these things. Based upon history, Liberty's been a record-breaking school when it comes to raising blood. So in the past year, we have made a goal so that we could beat the, the record that the, we've made in the past year. So we set our goal around 500, hoping that we could reach it. It doesn't matter if your school is big or small. If it has like 100 students or like 2,500 students, anyone can produce a blood drive. We meet with the people from Community Blood Center and they gave us a list of jobs that we needed to fill and um, some jobs we just had sign up, some jobs we came in and said, hey, you're good with organization or hey, you're good with people, we'd like you to do this job. We had a lot of people outside of our school community get involved with this because our publicity has been so great with posters all over local businesses and places like that. I have about 70 students this year and they're all very important to us. They're all involved in asking their friends, reaching out to family members, church members, everything to come to our drive today. We also have the entire community blood center here, like a ton of volunteers to them. It's the most they ever send out for any high school. Finding Hemo. See? Okay. And the theme, um, like, you know, Nemo just he's like searching and searching. And it kind of goes along with how we want people to keep giving and giving blood. I do think a theme is really important. It helps, like, incorporate stuff. They see fishes out on the sides of the walls, and it kind of makes it more fun and doesn't seem so scary. Like, a lot of people are scared of it, but if it has something fun, like, a fish theme from a movie, they love it. They kind of dispel a lot of the myths that a lot of high school students have about donating because most of our students are first time donors and like everything a human does, we're anxious the first time. And so they really get out and they try to bust the myths that people have. I would say get everything organized and divide and conquer with at least five or so people. It's a lot easier when you split the work up. When you have so many people working together, it just is a lot better, I think. We could get a lot more done when we had so many more people helping. It's taken a lot of organization and help from all of our other classmates, but it was worth it. For our PR to raise uh, awareness, a lot of what we did was through the local newspaper, through the school newspaper, but also um, local TV stations, contact those, and um, even just, you know, word of mouth goes a long way if you uh, have a lot of people talking about it. They make videos for our news broadcast here at the school. They reach out to community members and get free advertising in our local newspaper. Uh, the KC metro area news stations help us quite a bit. I personally made a public service announcement for our local broadcast that we run on Channel 18. 
Um, it was, we have posters all over the school, so the word's been getting out a lot. We also used our school announcements and the PA. Email sent out to all the teachers, and so all the teachers in the district knew about our blood drive through that. So a lot of teachers are here today. We had a lot of people outside of our school community get involved with this because our publicity has been so great with posters all over local businesses and places like that. I feel really privileged to work with the Community Blood Center on this kind of project. I'm proud to work with these kids and in this community because it really takes a whole city and a community and the enthusiasm of these kids to bring a drive like this off. Next year I hope to be um, involved as a giver since our uh, blood drive goes through our AP Biology class. So next year I'll not be in the class, but I'll definitely be returning to give blood. I see previous students from five, six years ago coming back and they're saying, hey, I came to your blood drive. I just had one this morning. And he graduated probably five years ago. And he's now doing this. And he's been doing that every year. And I really think that's a great tradition for a first-time donor. I can definitely see the advantages of being involved in this and being a volunteer. I'm sure it looks so good on college resumes. I know it's something I can put on my resume, and it's really going to help me in my future. It's really important that I stepped up and was able to lead this blood drive because I know it will look very good to colleges, not just college applications, but like resumes for work. They know like you're interested, you have passion for something, and you're willing to volunteer. And it just looks good that you're helping out the community. Our students have helped save thousands of lives as a result of this blood drive. I love this. It was, it's awesome doing this, and I think everyone should probably do it. Even if they're scared, everyone's scared. But it's just such a good thing to be able to help out the community like this. know that you can donate your life-saving blood every 56 days? Did you know that one pint of blood can save up to two lives? Did you know that high school students account for more than 13% of the annual blood supply at Community Blood Center? <laughs> Did you know that 99% of the blood collected at Community Blood Centers stays right here in our community to help our friends, family members, and neighbors? Did you know that organizing a blood drive is fun, cool, and really helps promote teamwork? Did you know that students can donate blood at the age of 16 with parental consent? Did you know that the Community Blood Center must collect 580 units of life-saving blood each day? Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video and we also hope that you were able to take away a few tips from these incredible event organizers at Liberty High School. For Community Blood Center, I'm Stan Tate. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon at a Community Blood Center Donation Center.